So this is our remotely controlled car. We are using a Nissan Leaf model. This is a regular street car. We have not done any mechanical uh, uh, reworking whatsoever. All the car functions are controlled with electrical signals. If we can drive remotely with a car, we can also bring the car to the customer. And the customer does not himself or herself have to go somewhere to the car, but we can drive actually the car remotely to the door of the customer and he sits into the car and drives as normal. So, how does it work? We have here controls, steering wheel and pedals, accelerator and brake as with a normal car. Here on the steering wheel we have doubled all normal car controls. We can switch on the gears from here, we can switch on the lights or windscreen wipers, etc. Here we have the video feed coming back from the car. We have all together six cameras, three on the front, one to the back and two to the side mirrors. Uh, we have all the signal lights from the car. We can see what gear we are on, we can see if the parking brake is on and so on. We see also the, some important uh, data as the speed of the car. Also, we see live all the time what is the latency of our situation. Here we can also see that if I brake, the car will brake and I can see it on the screen how much the car brakes. Uh, when I came on board one and a half year ago, uh, the main goal was to get the full control of the vehicle. During the development period, the goals have shifted uh, to develop control algorithms, safety algorithms, and to get as real feel from the remotely controlled vehicle as possible. With Elmo's remote control car technology, one operator can handle more than 10 cars at once. Also, we can deliver a car in front of the client's store in 10 minutes. We will bring this June 20 remotely controlled cars into our everyday service in Tallinn. And in the end of this year, we are entering also to other countries in Europe, mainly or preferably uh, Germany and France.